Hello everybody, can you hear me? Can you see me? That's yes or it's no, and I assume it's a yes because I can see the microphone thing go ba -ba -boo, and I can see my face on the monitor, so double yes. Mm -hmm. AV good, amazing, thank you Matt. And hello to everybody that is here and thank you for the sub, Risto underscore A. Love to see it. And happy Freaky Friday, everybody. I hope you all had an amazing week. I had a very long week. I am tired. I am slightly disheveled. But that's okay. Because we're here to fight some aliens and stuff. I, this is the last set that I have to play. And it is the Evo Morphs at the USS Conrad. Which, um, is loosely based... <laughs> It's basically based on Alien, I'm nearly certain. Um, when I jump down to the board and you see the bad guy, you're going to be like, hmm, that looks familiar. Sure does. Sure the heck does. So this is the last set that I have to play, like last full set that I have to play from Series 2. Um, the last thing that I have beyond this is going to be the zombie expansion, which is from beyond the grave. So, let's jump down to the board, to the board. Here we go. Okay. Hello, Joe. Happy Friday, friend. We are fighting aliens. So, let me just see. I need to zoom in to show you. Pacha. Does that not just look like, <laughs> this is based on alien, 100%. So, this set, is a little bit different, I guess. This does have some special rules, so I'll go over what all that is today, right now, right now. Okay, so the alien, also known as the Evomorph, has three stages of life, as aliens do. And so, it's going to be evolving as the game goes on. So it's three stages are, it starts out as a hatchling, which is a little bebe. And I do have, <laughs> you probably, I don't know if you can see it. That's the baby. Okay, so it starts out as a hatchling. It's really interesting when it's a hatchling. It's really slow. Um, however, there's a lot of cards in the terror deck that, um, <laughs> Jamie may not feel it, but she's totally shoveled. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so there's cards in the tarot deck that basically, like, if you are the hatchling, you skip through them. So the hatchling makes you go fast through the tarot deck, which is not great. However, when the hatchling kills a victim, uh, bloodlust doesn't go up, which is great. You love to see it. However, um, when it does kill a victim, time is going to go down by one, but you can't increase bloodlust at all when it's a hatchling because babies don't have bloodlust. That's what I've been told. Once again, I don't know anything about babies. Anyways, so that's how that works. Then, as bloodlust does increase, um, or as, how does bloodlust increase? Now I forget. Because how is it going to evolve if we can never increase its bloodlust? Oh, I should probably... Hmm. Bloodlust will only increase if the hatchling kills a victim. Okay, my bad. Bloodlust will increase if the hatchling kills a victim. However, if we're ever told to increase bloodlust in any other way, we do not. That's what it is. Once we increase bloodlust just one time we are going to hit this evolve. Now, the next phase is called the youngling, okay? We're getting into that them teen years. So here's the little miniature for the youngling. I've had kids, trust me, they always have bloodlust. That's good to know, that's good to know. You learn something new every day, the more you know. So the youngling is phase two um, and then when the youngling pops 
onto the board, it's going to actually vanish. So there's a whole mechanism in this set called vanishing, where the alien is going to just kind of peace out every now and then, pop off the board, go into hiding, and then we have to do a whole new thing. Hello, Mrs. Jamie Meeple. What's up, Baxter? How's it going? Um, so that's the youngling. And then finally, we have the adult phase. <clears throat> I'll show you that little figurino. I never use these when I play because you can't really like see them on the board, but it's fun to share them with you. So um, here's the, hello TJ, happy Friday. Um, so here's one thing, when we have the hatchling and the youngling, the alien only has four total health. When it evolves into an adult, the health um, goes up to 10 and it is completely like restored of all of its lost health. So I think the ideal situation, though it sounds impossible, would be to kill the alien before it turns into an adult. So that's how that works, okay? We be evolving. So I'm keeping the alien card over here because I can't see it up there very well. So that's one special thing. The next special thing is there are certain rooms, let's see if I can do a zoom zoom, um, certain rooms on the map that need to be opened with a key card because we're in space. That makes sense. So some of these rooms have key cards that we can pick up. We start off with a key card and um, this is basically, woo, geez, got a wrap in your face. That's the key card. So we need to collect the tokens and put them on the cards and then we're able to use them. You have to be adjacent to a room that requires a key card and you have to put your token in that space and it will open the door for you. When you go into those rooms and there's like, how many, there's four of them and they're called maintenance rooms. So there's the um, furnace, the trash compactor, the hangar and the bridge. So once you're in those rooms, you can also spend some of those key cards in order to do an, a special ability. So that's kind of cool. So that's another unique thing. Um, but if you don't open them, you can't travel through them. The victims can't travel or follow you through them. And I believe that the alien also cannot go through them. Enemies cannot through, move through maintenance shafts unless a specific card or effects allows them to. So they have to go around. So that's cool. Um, okay, so that's key cards. There is another item card here called the super loader. Ba -ba -ba. And so the super loader is in the hangar space. There's a little token. You can't activate it unless you get the super loader key, which did happen to come up luckily in my item setup. So I would need to get this item in order to use a super loader, which basically has like some attack ability, I think. Teen aliens, mom, I hate eating humans. I hate my exoskeleton and I hate you. Oh, and pass the livers, please. <laughs> Kill them aliens. That is the goal for tonight, friends. Okay, so there is one, at least one other thing before we pick our character, um, and that has to do with the ambush cards, okay? So that's what these look like. Now there's ambush for a youngling, and there's ambush for an adult. Now these come into play when the um, alien vanishes from the board. So I'm sure that there would be one. I have some extra tarot, card, tarot cards, terror cards. Yep, okay. So this symbol, whoops, right here in the white is the vanish symbol. So if that comes up, poof, aliens just be disappearing into space, okay? So when that happens, you skip the killer phase, 
which means that you skip the terror cards, you skip their attack, and instead you do an ambush, which are these cards here. And they'll, I assume, walk you through how to do things. Um, so it's obviously dangerous for an alien to just be hiding and then popping up on you unexpectedly. So there is a special action card in this set called Scan. And this basically allows you to scan the rooms that you're in to see whether or not the alien is hiding in your room. If they are not, whoops, then you put one of these little E X tokens in the room. And that way when they try and ambush you in that room, they can't because they're dumb, dumb buttheads, you know, as, as you know. Okay, so that's that. I'm just going to check. Obviously, I've never played this set before. Okay, so I covered all of that. Just going to make sure that I did not miss anything. Yep, didn't miss anything, I don't think. Um, I will keep the old ye old rule books right here next to me just in case okay so then all that's left to do is to pick our final girl so this set comes with um jeanette so jeanette has seven health only needs to save four victims before she flips um and this is her flip side pretty fun you are considered to have an additional hand. Is Jeanette an alien? That's weird. Um, for the purposes of holding and using items, place two tracking markers on this card. When using an item with limited uses, you may use one of these markers instead. For each additional victim saved, you can recover one heart. Then we have Ellen. Okay. Ellen has to save six victims. She has four hearts. And her special ability, show you there, is when successfully resolving a search action, you may choose to freely look through all of the location's unused item cards instead of the space's item deck. And for each additional victim saved, you gain one time. So the reason why um, you want to search in this game is because uh, there are more of these key cards. You can probably see there's one there in the deck. And so obviously the more key cards you have, the more stuff that you can do in the maintenance room and things like that. So does anybody have a preference between Jeanette and Ellen? You tell me, Ellen it is, boom. Done. That was easy. Thank you. Sinful elation. All right. So Ellen is our final girl. She has four hearts. R.I.P. Ellen. Um. <sighs> I never know. Let's do this. I've been picking a lot of like double blanks, which I'm fine with. So long as the alien has a blank or the bad guy has a blank, I'm fine with it. We'll move all of these. I'm gonna turn off the heater. Give me one momento, si vous play. Because it has been chilly. Chilly, chilly out today. Okay, so then we need to reveal our event card. And we shall get in to killing them aliens. All right. Good cooking. Every meal's a feast. Whenever you end the action phase in the mess hall, recover one heart. <gasps> Where's the mess hall? This is amazing. Where? Oh, mess hall is up here. We're here. Alien is here. The bebe, bebe alien. Okay. Cool. Well, let's start. Team Aliens. Jeff's here. Hi, Jeff. That was nice French, s'il vous plaît. That's what I thought. Thank you. Okay, so we are jumping in. Let's go down here. 
I don't have the dice cam today because I forgot to carry it down, but it's all good in the hood. You guys know that. Okay, so we are probably, I do have one key card. So I can open one door and I'm probably going to open the hanger. Show you guys up here. So I probably want to open up the hanger because there's three victims in there. And if I can sneak down, there's a door literally right there. So I think that's the move. That is Z move. Foster, you're so rude, right? He's wishing, it's because he's jealous that I am the two star queen and he is the no star king. So we use the middle dice. Middle dice are nice. All right. Let's use, um, I'm going to use the key card to open up the hanger and that's going to allow us to move. And what we are going to do then, actually, I wonder if we should start off. I always like to start off with a little bit of focus. Do you know what I wish would focus? The camera. <laughs> so blurry. Anyways, we're going to try and get some more, some less horror. There's a star, we're off to a good start. Now, technically, I could get rid of two cards, and I will. So I'm gonna get rid of my weak attack and my short rest to turn this into a star, because we gotta start off the night right with two stars. Jeff, are you watching? This is why they call me the two star queen, because I got two stars. So that is going to lower horror by one and increase time by two. So that is a good start. Now we're gonna do a walkie, walkie, walkie and try and save some people. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon and I don't have any rerolls. Oh no, I got cocky and then I rolled nothing. Okay, so I can either move one space, lose a heart, lose two time or just lose two time. I think I will just lose two time because I don't have much in terms of health. What a bummer. Okay, I guess I could try and walk again. Cause that doesn't, no, that doesn't end my turn. Okay, we'll try and do another walk. Oh my God. <laughs> I jinxed myself. It's because I got too braggy. This is the worst. Um, shoot, double shoot, triple shoot. Either way, I lose two time. I'm just gonna lose the two time and not move. Ooh, <laughs> has my reign as a two star queen come to an end? I hate that journey for me. Um, I am though going to um, go shopping. So we have four time to spend. And I think, I think what we're gonna do is we're definitely gonna get a sprint card. The zero star queen, yes, Jeff, exactly. You were being a very bad Canadian. I've been punished. Listen, it had to end eventually. Like I was rolling two stars like every roll last game. Okay, so I'm gonna get a sprint. I still have a focus in my hand and I have two more I'm too far away from the searches and I don't have another key card. I need to get another key card eventually. What the heck? Okay. So it's only these yellow spaces that I need them to move into. Okay, so I'm gonna get a sprint and I might, I wonder if I should just get two sprints and just zip around. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Zip around the room, skip around the room. Okay, so that's my turn. Big double womp womp, triple womp womp, quadruple womp womp. Um, so we are moving on to the aliens. Yeah, my mouse is stuck, there we go. Okay, so they are targeting victims they are going to move one, attack one, but of course 
say, whoa, I just realized why they're so dangerous. They hit for 10, the babies. Yikes, double yikes. Okay, so they're moving one and hitting, but there's nobody there, so that sucks to suck. Oof, 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 somebody is going to die. All right, incinerator malfunction. All victims adjacent to the furnace panic. There is nobody adjacent to the furnace, which is right here, okay? Roll a die for everyone at the furnace and apply missing hearts. There is nobody at the furnace. So, um, they are going to move instead, and I believe that they would probably move here. And then they're going to kill for 10. So I think both of these guys are dead because I'm pretty sure it would carry over, right? I think so. So when they kill, bloodlust does increase. Um, so we're gonna beep bop it up. And our little hatchling has already evolved. So that didn't take very long, did it? No sorry, Bob. Okay, so um, we are going to be evolving into a youngling. Now, Bloodlust is going to move as normal, which really doesn't change anything. And um, upon evolving, they disappear from the board. So they're not out right now. And I'm both okay with it and also very scared. All right. So back over to me. Let's try and sprint our way. I wanna try and get the victims. I'm gonna just try and do the literally the exact same thing that I was trying to do before. But I do think I will try and focus again. Okay, so we got one star and we're not gonna discard because I only have two other cards. So one star does allow us to put horror down, but we do lose one time. That's okay. And then we're going to sprint. Okay, so we got one star. So we can move two spaces, which is perfect. So we're gonna go, whoop. We're up here, we're gonna go one, two, and we're gonna take these two. We're gonna take, uh, Jeff and Jeffrey with us. Okay, all the victims in this set are called Jeff, just so everybody knows. Jeff and Jeffrey are coming with us and they are being rescued. You're welcome. So we have some options with Ellen. I think I will most likely reduce horror and move one space. Oh, I could take a search card. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm going to increase horror, decrease horror by one. So we got three dice and I'm going to choose to move one space because that's gonna put me back here with uh, Jeffrey, of course. Um, so I sprinted, so I do lose one time. And I get to take an item card. I am definitely taking the key card which will give me a key card token. Okay. We are a resilient bunch. Listen, Jeff, I saved you. Okay. So I have a sprint card, but I'm thinking I might hang on to it because I have four time right now. What's in the armory? I just want to see if I need to buy a search. What is this? Look at this, a vibro claw. Ooh, la la. Okay, whenever you successfully reduce damage from an attack with a reaction card, deal plus one hit. Ooh, I want that. Okay, so what I am going to do is I will, I'm adjacent to the armory, so I will put my key card there so it opens this up. Um, and then I'm not gonna do any more actions. Instead, I'm just gonna go shopping. Okay, so I have four to spend 
And I still have a sprint card, which is great. And I'm gonna get all of these bad boys back, okay? So I will definitely be getting a search card for two. I will get a close call and I will also get a scan. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woohoo! Hello, B fan. I do recommend a scan card if you don't already have one. Thank you. I agree. I concur. Okay. So that's me. Now we're going over to the alien and I believe we just do an ambush because they are vanished. Yep, ignore all steps of the killer phase. Instead, you will draw an ambush card. So it's our first ambush card. Ooh, I hate that. Okay, so we have to increase horror after I just freaking headed down to three dice and then we have to increase bloodlust by two which means we increase horror again, which is a real kick in the pants. And that's that. When do they come back on the board? I assume, I assume the ambush card would tell me if they come back on the board, yes? I don't know. I assume. I never played it before, so I don't know. Um, hello, Hannah. I just got my final girl, 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 order today, and I'm playing my first game while watching this. Yay! Okay, which set are you playing? I am very, very curious to know. All right, back to me. And, um, so, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We are definitely, there's a few things that we need to do here. Um, we can probably, I'd like to get this victim out. And then I would, I would like to go, so they go here. I would like to go to the armory and search. And I would like to scan. So let's start off with a little sprint action. Jamie, what are your thoughts on Mr. Fright? He's my favorite. Hundo. So far, well, sorry, I shouldn't say that. He's my favorite from the first set. I find his, the whole like box for Mr. For, um, Mr. Fright, Dr. Fright, to be very, very interesting. I like the like being asleep slash being awake and the Freddy Krueger vibes, I'm into it. All right, okay, so we got a star. So I can move up to two spaces, which we will do. So we are going to move into the green with Jeff we are saving Jeff, you're freaking welcome. Um, oops. Okay. And so I've got either gain two time, gain a heart, which wouldn't make any sense, or move one space. So we'll move one space, which will put us back here, which then we still have one more move, which will put us in the armory. Perfect, and then we lose a time. All right. Let's do a searchy. Big bad wolf, ugh, so good, so, so good. Dr. Fright, he didn't go to evil medical school for four years to be called Mr. LOL. Okay, we are searching the armory and hoping we can get that freaking claw hand. Two stars. I'm trying not to be boastful, but you love to see it at the same time. You freaking love to see it. My phone is zinging, zinging, zinging. So I got two stars, which means I could take the top two item cards from the item deck, um, choose one, place the other on top, face up or underneath, face down. The two star queen. Yes. Okay. So let's see what the other card is. Ooh, it's a key card. This is what we got going on. I know the key cards are important. However, I am not passing up claw hand. I just won't. So I'll keep the key card on top and we will put the vibro claw. We will equip it in my hand. 
do need to put time down one, which suits. Um, so for anybody that, I don't know if anybody just joined, but basically the Vibro Claw, whenever you successfully reduce damage from an attack with a reaction card, you deal plus one attack to your attacker, which we love. We love, we love it. Um, okay. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? I guess, well, I want it to scan. That's what I want it to do. I don't have any focus cards, do I? Ooh, I do. Oh, but I have so little time. It's fine. Okay, so we are going to do a scan which allows us to search to see whether or not the alien is hiding in our space. I am purposely buzzing your phone. I knew it, I saw the message that it was from you. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. We are going to discard our short rest and our weak attack to flip that into a star, okay? Um, I could use my close call to re-roll that. Huh, I feel like I kind of want to because I do not want to lose the time. Oy, that was not worth it. Oops. Um, okay, that's fine. So I'll lose a time um, and I get to place an X token in my space, which means that the alien is not in my space. I really want it to reduce horror. Um, okay, I think we will stop there because I need to be able to buy stuff stuff and things and I only have three time and I don't know okay I'm gonna leave now good luck bye <laughs> okay bye um do I want to get rid of any of these to gain more time hmm I think I will get rid of a walk card to gain a time okay let's do that so I have four time to spend Hmm, and I wanted a search because I want that key card, so I'll grab a search. I should, this will come back into my hand. I will grab a scan. So I only have one left, so I will grab a close call. Search, scan, close call, it's exactly what I bought last time. All right, that's what we're buying with our, with our moolah, AKA our time. Oops, all right. So, I think I just do another ambush. I assume the ambush cards would tell me when the alien pops back up. Just to say, love those Final Girl Fridays. I love them too. I love them, I love them, I love them. All right, here we go. Move the bloodlust marker up on the track to the next space with evolve in the special effect column. The actual F. What does that number mean? I feel like I read somewhere what the number meant. Oh. Oh, nope, 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 oopsies. That's what the number means. I think that's where they're supposed to go. Hang on, I need to see. There was a number for the young lady side of the card, different number, but what does it mean? Hmm. Draw an ambush card, follow the side of the card that corresponds, blah, 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 blah. Each ambush card has a red danger number found in the upper right corner. There's a number for the youngling side. Oh, that just shows how dangerous the effect is, I think. So we are moving bloodlust, let's, um, Number means how bad the card is. I should have just looked up and read your message. That would have been easier. Um, okay, so Bloodlust is going up, which means that we're already turning into an adult. I feel eminent doom approaching. What the heck? Okay, so we're going to reveal the duck power. Oh, perfect, razor claws. That's not creepy. Oh, geez. Okay. When revealed, place the Evomorph 
in the closest space to you with Odin X. Yeesh. Um, and remove all X's. Whenever the evil morph damages you, randomly discard one action card. Okay, don't let me forget. The alien does grow up so fast. So, now his health is at 10. Yikes. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Jeez, that escalated quickly. Okay, and what else? Real dark power and rotate the ambush deck. So now the ambush deck instead of youngling is going on adult. He was barely a youngling. Okay, so that's that, I think. Um, what was this? Where can I gain health? I need to get up to the mess hall. That's where I can get health back for my event card. All right. No big deal. NBD. I've got my claw hand. We're fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Um, okay. So I am very close to them, but I do not have any attack cards. Um, nor do I have a run card, but I do have a search. So let's search this space so that we could try and get that key card. Okay. One star. Technically, I could turn it into two. But I don't want to waste the cards because I just want the top card, which is a key card. You love to see it. You freaking love to see it. Put this in my book bag, put my time down one, and try and find a key card, which I found. Perfect. So I should definitely try and move the hack away. So I do have a walk card. So let's try that, shall we? At least try to get a little bit of distance. Oh boy. I have a close call. Come on. All right. I could discard two in order to, I am gonna do it. Whoops, I'll discard my focus cards in order to move here. Okay, and I lose one time. I think I, I think I'm just gonna stop there and buy some stuff. So I keep these key cards, but they're, let's just do that. Um, okay, so I have four. It's interesting, their movement is getting like slower. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want a retaliate card for sure. It just sucks because that's literally, I guess I'll have a weak attack, a walk, and a short rest. So retaliate's actually not a bad idea because I at least have a movement, a heal, <laughs> and an attack. And I got my claws, which is perfect. Okay. I'm feeling less confident than I was uh, when I played the last few sets. All right, let's um, go over to the Evo Morphs time. So they are, <sighs> no, they're not gonna come to me. They're gonna come up here. So they're gonna move one. They are going to attack Jeff. So he did, okay? He did, he did. Um, which means Bloodlust will go up by one. So now they're hitting for three, yeesh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Scratches in the dark. So much movement. Literally so much movement. Okay, he's just gonna come on and visit me. Beep, 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 beep. Hey girl, hey. For each space that the evil morph passes through that contains at least one victim, including its starting space, um, gain one horror, but they did not pass through any victims. So there, okay. 
that's it for alien face. Now it's time for me face. Well, I, I bet claw only works when it's a reaction. Okay. So we need, I guess I could weak attack it and then try and walk away. <laughs> That might be a good call. I'm not feeling the middle dice tonight. They've been treating me only iffy. So let's switch them out for the top dice, okay? Top dice. So we're doing a weak attack. So we got one star. So we hit it for one and then we lose one. It's not great because I only have four hearts, but that's fine. So we hit it for one um, and then we lost a heart. Okay, then I could short rest, but we'll just see. We'll just see here. I might need to, because if they're gonna attack me, we'll have a retaliate, I guess. Okay, let's try and move away. All right, so we got one, so we're gonna go up here. Um, actually, maybe I'll go here, because Mm, they're gonna move towards the victim on their turn. I guess it doesn't really matter then which way I go, but if they're here, I should probably go up. Ugh, but there's a key in there I want. Nah, I'll just stay here. I'll worry about that later. Okay. Then, let's just see. I could short rest, but I don't want to risk losing time and I would like to buy some cards. So we're just going to stay where we are and we're going to go shopping. All right, so I have five time to spend. I already have a protection card. I definitely want to sprint, so that's two. Get all of these back. So that's two, so I have three left. So I could get a distraction. I could get an improvise. I could get a guard and a close call. Hmm. I love a distraction card because I see <laughs> horror's gonna go up which would only put me here. I don't want to waste a distraction because if I got two stars, it would put me here only to be bumped back up. And I hate that. Hmm. I could get an improvise. Everybody's always telling me to get improvise cards. So maybe I'll do it. So we'll get improvise. So that's three, right? And that's everything. Okay. So back over to you, Mr. Alien. Okay. So once again, they're going to come in here. They're going to attack Jeff and kill him as they do. Um, and that's gonna put Bloodlust up, which is going to increase horror by one. And then we need a tarot card. Oof. Uh-oh, gas leak. Double yikes. Um, roll a die to determine which maintenance shaft leak toxic gas. Everyone in the space adjacent to the affected shaft receives one heart damage, and then we have to pull a um, event card. All right, whoa, Nelly. So we got a four. Um, upper right. I that's this one. Oh shoot! Are you kidding? Oh, I guess that's so many people. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Okay, so, um, God, that sucks. Everyone in the space adjacent to the affected mine shaft, which is this one, so that's these people, receives one hit. So we've just killed off three people. So bloodlust goes one, two, three. We get Horror increases by two. Hello, caffeinated Canuck. You're here just in time to probably see my demise. Um, and then it, if we have to go up again, we lose two time 
and discard the next tarot card. I keep saying tarot, terror card. Jeez Louise. All right, that sucks. That was a lot of death. Ooh, let's get an event. All right. We have weapons locker. We got bombs, we got blades, we got pointy stick things. Look through the unused item cards and place any weapons in the armory's item deck, either face up on top or face down underneath, and then discard this card. What did it say? Look through the unused item cards. Oh, wow. But the armory is now kind of far away from me. I guess I don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, do I have to do it? I don't really want to, to be honest. Place any weapons. There's so many unused items though. You can blame your demise on my arrival. I would never. I don't know if I have to do this. Does anybody know? Look through the unused item cards and place any weapons. Oh yeah, I definitely have to do that. Uh, none of these things are weapons. This is a weapon. And that's it. So I will place that weapon right on top. You have to. I hate being told what to do. So ridiculous. Okay, that's that. Back to me. Beep. Okay. Okay. I believe you. So many dead Jeffreys in there. Mm <clears throat> so they did not attack me. That's nice. So I am, <clears throat> I don't have any attack cards myself. That was stupid. <clears throat> I should have gotten some. But I do think I am probably, I'm probably just gonna try and book it to the mess hall, which you can't see, but it's up in the top, because I have a card that does say, whenever you end an action phase in the mess hall, I can recover a heart. That is hugely uh, beneficial. So, let's sprint our butts out of here. Do I have a focus card? Let's do that first. Should have done improvise first, I guess. Hmm. Well, I will, I am gonna get rid of my short rest and my walk card in order to turn this into at least one success to lower horror, but I will lose one time. Okay, now we sprint. <laughs> dead Jeffrey sounds like a mixed drink. Give me a dead Jeffrey with a twist, would ya? All right, let's try and book it the heck out of here. All right, so we got one star, so we can move two spaces, which is fine. So we'll go one, two into the trash compactor with Jeffrey. And we lose a time. Hmm. I am. Wishing I didn't get rid of that walk card. So perhaps I'm just swapping it out because I do what I want. I'm getting rid of the other focus card and then I'm gonna use this walk card. Oh my God, what a waste. <laughs> Ugh, that sucked. Jeez. Hmm. Well, I am going to do this. I will get rid of one heart to move one space and lose two time because if I end my turn in the mess hall, 
I recover a heart. So that feels worth it, except for the fact that I only have two freaking time left. Okay. Hum, hum. I am going to stop. And I have two. I have two, 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 two. I will probably just use that to get a sprint card. Okay. Yikes. Yikes, bikes. Mm, that's it for me. Jeez, oh, Pete, that's bad rolling, right? This literally never, never, never. Shut down all trash compactors below the detention level. Can I do that? Mm. Okay, it's their turn. They're moving four. So this Jeffrey's definitely super dead. Bah. So we have boop, bloodlust. We go down two time already. <laughs> Discard the next tarot card. It's probably for the best. Okay, so now we have to pull a tarot card. Garbage day. Beep. All victims adjacent to the trash compactor. Oh my God. Panic. That sucks, unless they're gonna panic themselves out into the door. So three. Nope, they're gonna panic themselves into a trash compactor. Everyone at the trash compactor dies. <laughs> Boom, I lose two time. And I discard the next tarot card. Now they are going to move towards me and attack me. So they have four movement, so they can definitely get there. They are attacking me for four. I currently have three, but I do have a retaliate and I have my claw, the claw. Garbage day, time to get rid of all those dead Jeffries. Exactly, they're just piled here. It's a freaking mess. Okay, they're attacking me, but I will retaliate. And hopefully I will roll a little bit better. Oh my effing God. I've lost it. I've lost my touch. But I still deal one damage, but I'm dead. <laughs> I just died. And I don't have any, I don't have any close calls. I have nothing. So, that was freaking ridiculous. That's alien, baby. I died. Well, let's just see. Oh, I had no extra hearts. Anyway. Oh my God, the alien had two extra hearts. We were never, we were never gonna win that one. So I would say, now I've played all of the new sets. This one I think was the toughest one, but I mean, it's all subjective, right? Because it all depends on your, are you kidding me? Why now? <laughs> Why now? Okay, um, it depends on like how you roll, obviously. So I was not rolling good tonight, but I do find like this one is tough because he evolved quickly. This one is tough. The, um, the one that's based on the thing was really tough. I would say now I've played all of them. And after my first play of season two, I think, I would say I like the big bad wolf the best just because of the theme. Then the strangers, then ratchet lady, then Hmm. Then the, th mm. I think then the thing and then this one. I'm not really like, this is, was definitely my least excited theme to play. Cause I don't really care about aliens, but I do care a heck of a lot about werewolves. And your horror was bad. Yes, 
My horror was terrible. Last game I played, I was like at three dice the whole time. It was epic. Um, yeah, so next week though, I am going to finish off the set by playing um, the zombies. So we will try and kill some zombies. Zombies is a theme that I wish there was a whole set about because I like love zombies. Like that is a theme that I am so a thousand percent on board with all the time. So I don't know. I wish that they would have done like a full zombie like set with a board and everything, but that's okay. Maybe next time they'll do that, but maybe not. Um, and then after that, I think I might switch over to Too Many Bones. I know I've said it before, but in case you haven't seen some of the other um, streams, that is the plan. I think I'm going to switch over to Too Many Bones and start playing through some of those sets and those gear locks and all that good stuff. We are just waiting for um, Nugget and Gilly to come back in stock in Canada because um, Chip Theory Games was very kind to offer those to us so that we could stream them. Um, and then we went to go and get them and we're like, they're sold out. <laughs> oh no! So for any Canadians out there, I believe that they are restocking um, all of the gear locks. So you should be able to get those soon because I know it's been really tough to find them. Yeah, so I think I am exhausted, so I am most likely just going to peace out and go lay down and have a good sleep because Jeff and I are having a full game day tomorrow. We are going to try to play Star Wars Rebellion. Am I excited? Yes and no. I'm a little bit scared. We've been putting off that game for literally years. Like, we've had it for years and we just have not sat down and tried to actually like learn it and play it and all that stuff. So that is what we are going to be doing tomorrow. We got a few other games to play. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody has a freaking awesome weekend and I hope that you all have some sunshine and stuff. Let's raid somebody. Let's raid the board game house. Thank you for the follow. What does that say, Death Ford? I can never really see when the Elmo dances. Good luck with the game day. Thank you, Caffeinated Canuck. I hope that I win. I will, of course, be playing as the dark side and Jeff will be playing as light side. So here's to open. Anyways, we are going to go over to the board game house and say hello. And um, yeah, we'll see everybody. We'll be back streaming on Sunday. So if you want to come hang out with me and Jeff, Sunday it is. Okay, goodbye.